Hospitals By late 1914, it became apparent that the country's existing hospital and post-trauma care units were not going to be able to deal with the flood of casualties returning from the front. As a measure to alleviate the growing pressure on existing medical facilities, large country houses and institutions were converted into military hospitals. The following hospitals operated in decorum during the war. Ashridge House in Berkhampstead, The Beaches in Berkhampstead, Boxmore House Hospital in Hemel Hempstead, West Hearts Hospital in Hemel Hempstead and Victoria Hall in Tring. Boxmore House Hospital, a fine old residence, kindly lent for noble work by Mrs. Bowens. Boxmore House Hospital opened its doors to its first patients on the 26th of October 1915. Described as a small but model institution, it housed 20 beds which were divided amongst three wards. It was run by a staff of seven to eight VAD nurses under the charge of Sister Blackmore. All of the patients came from the Central Hospital at Aylesbury, Eastern Command, to which the Boxmore Hospital was a convalescent auxiliary. The Beaches In March of 1915, a VAD hospital opened at Arncroft. The hospital subsequently changed location and moved to the Beaches where it was to remain until it closed in July of 1919. In that time, the hospital was successively overseen by Miss M. Blount, Miss Porter and Miss Haygarth Brown. It was noted that the women who worked at the hospital did so at great risk to their own personal health as they regularly dealt with infectious cases. The image at the top, taken by the Hemel photographer H.J.W. Bray, soldiers and VAD nurses can be seen sat outside Boxmore House Hospital. Notice the two bulldogs in the front row, perhaps belonging to the soldiers. Dogs were often used during the war to carry messages at the front, and it is possible that these dogs may have done so. Although this image does not show VAD nurses in decorum, the soldier in the back row is Hemel Hempstead's DCM-decorated Reginald Jack Evans. Jack was injured in the face and underwent pioneering plastic surgery at the first plastic surgery unit in Aldershot. The picture at the bottom is of Barncroft.